I'm in Lake Elsinore, California. This is like a little documentary I'm gonna do. This is the Naval Academy. Everybody's been inside there, so there's no point in me going inside there and explore because what would it get? It'd get nowhere, right? So what I'm gonna do is here is just talk about the city of Lake Elsinore. During the 1920s, uh, either you were really rich or poor. That's how it was back in the 1920s. If you lived the rich life, you would live in the cities where you could basically do what you want, have any kind of religion you want. The group societies, the secret societies, that's when they all started here, around here and everything else. Uh, Lake Elsinore was one of those cities here in California. They had their secret uh, groups out here, from the Masons, the Odd Fellows, uh, different religious groups and uh, if you're wealthy you'd come and live out here as a resort have a house out here and then have a house in Beverly Hills or well, Lake Elsinore is one of those cities and it was really nice during the 1920s and, uh, and uh, there's a lot of places this is a naval academy this was built in the 1920s it was for children they had uh, wealthy parents they sent them down here uh, it was a country club at first and then it came a Naval Academy during the 1920s, and then uh, later on, later on, it, uh, it, it uh, you know, it, 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 it lost its funds after, after a couple of years, so, after that, after that, it, uh, the city, it started gaining population, you know, and then the economy went downhill, I'm guessing this and that, so, not that much information about that. What's going on is that the city has its history. It has its history of the paranormal. This is one of the most paranormal towns in California. It has its, it has its, the chimes that's haunted. This place is haunted. The burned down hotel it's a, that I took a, went over there, it's haunted. It was an old Masonic place that was haunted. A lot of the old structures have been burned down by arsons. There's a lot of homeless out here. A lot of thugs out here moved in because it's a cheap place to live in California now. But uh, before, it was one of the most expensive places to live. Lake Elsinore was one of the most expensive places to live here. Right now, there's no traffic here, so I'm going to go across the street and film this. And it's, uh, people don't know about much of its history, but it's pretty cool. It's a really cool place. I've been here. Now, this place has been documented as paranormal, and it has been documented. There's been, a, there's been so many stories that have been here, and it caught something. I don't know what kind of activities you do here, but it is pretty cool, man. It is, it is it's pretty cool. I'm trying to get through here and I'll get back to you. It's called perimeter. It's perimeter is so when you uh, record from, from left to right, left to right, uh, or just a circle. It's a square. You go all around. So I'm going to do that. It's called perimeter film. So this is, I'm going to get the property here. Instead of, uh, this, no one's ever done this. Got the whole property here, so I'm gonna go from uh, start in front and work my way to the side. Let's see if I get through here. You see, if someone still owns this, and they're gonna restore it. it. Costs a lot of money to restore it. It's heavily damaged inside. All this trespassing stuff, completely ignored by vandals. What happens is they lost money in the 1930s or something like that. Then um, it became empty. Then the vandals in the 1970s. 1970s is when a lot of stuff happened. There was a lot of, I'm thinking that's when all the cultists came over here. There was a lot of cultists during the 1960s and 70s. Especially in the 1970s, this is when all the Helter Skelter, all that shit ended and you thought it ended and it came over. It came over here, that's what happens. It came to these fucking towns out here and people uh, don't realize that. So, so you gotta walk through all this right here. Fence is falling out here, man. It's hard recording and talking at the same time. Sun is being down here. It's a nice picture right there, the bear. No focus. Beautiful structure.
had this on my film before, and then I just found out, found out like everybody in the grandma's been here. So what's the point of having the video up? But what I'm doing is I'm shooting a documentary on Blake Elsinore. I have all my videos put together, and uh, might as well just start shooting this back again. If you want to see stuff on uh, inside, just just type in Lake Elsinore New York Academy. There's people that've been in here. He documented stuff. I, I'm shooting the outside perimeter, which is what nobody else does. It's beautiful, 1920s. This was 1920s, 1930s. I call it the golden era of America. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm doing gonna go down there and that's where the neighborhood's at. I gotta keep quiet. That's a, that'll get the angle in the back. Um, I won't be able to talk when I'm down there because I gotta respect them. They could take, technically kick me off, it's a bright road. Look at the balcony. So this was built in the 1920s. Think about it, how much it cost to build this and maintain this. This was a, so, uh, there's this famous people have been here Rich people have been here, and this was a, uh, you know, I think it's fate. So I'm gonna stop recording here, I'm gonna start from the other side. And it's gonna be silent.
if this little one right here is it in the academy. It's a beautiful place. It's been like this for years. Surprise hasn't burned down. Uh, most of the structures here in Lake Elsinore are burned down by arsonists, homeless thugs, a bunch of losers, man. Insurance frauds, you name it. This is the, one of the oldest structures still remains in Lake Elsinore. This is a haunted naval academy. Let's see if you can close my recording. 